Hi everybody, LG here from the Grand Rapids Children's Museum, and today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite books. It is called The Woogie Norkel Story by Daniel Pinkwater with pictures by Tommy DePaola. In a little house in a little village, not far away from Thunderbolt City, lived a whistle fixer named Lunchbox Louie. He had a wife named Bigfoot the Chipmunk and a little son named King Waffle. Every day, Lunchbox Louie would kiss Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and walk to his shop in Thunderbolt City. Bigfoot the Chipmunk would wave goodbye to Lunchbox Louie until he was out of sight. Then she would sweep the floors, make the beds, and chop up onions for supper. King Waffle would sit in the backyard hitting a big rock with a little hammer. Some days, King Waffle would walk with his mother, Bigfoot the Chipmunk, through the streets of the little village and out into the fields. Some days, they would walk all the way to a little lake called Nosewort Pond. Bigfoot the Chipmunk would bring some food in a basket, and she and King Waffle would sit beside Nosewort Pond, eating a picnic lunch and playing with the wild caterpillars that lived there. In the evening, Lunchbox Louie would come home from Thunderbolt City. Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle would be waiting in the doorway when he came up the road. Lunchbox Louie would always bring something from the city for Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle. Sometimes he would bring a coconut. Sometimes he would bring a pair of eyeglasses made out of candy. Once he brought a rubber turtle that danced on a string. Bigfoot the Chipmunk would fry up the onions she had chopped that morning. After supper, the family would sit outside the house and Lunchbox Louie would play tunes on a whistle that he had made from a carrot. One evening, when Lunchbox Louie came back from Thunderbolt City, he had a special present for King Waffle. It was a little orange kitten. King Waffle named the kitten Woogie Norkel. The next morning, when Lunchbox Louie had left for his shop in Thunderbolt City and Bigfoot the Chipmunk had waved goodbye until he was out of sight, after Bigfoot the Chipmunk had swept the floors and made the beds and chopped up the onions for supper, King Waffle sat in the sun in the backyard, hitting the big rock with a little hammer, and Woggy Norple pounced on his feet and played with his toes. When Lunchbox Louie came home that night, he noticed something. He noticed that Wuggy Norple was a bigger kitten than she had been the day before. She's as big as a bulldog, Lunchbox Louie said. She doesn't seem any bigger to me, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. Maybe you are still getting used to her. The next day, when Lunchbox Louie was about to leave to walk to his shop in Thunderbolt City, just before he kissed Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle goodbye, he looked at the cat, Woggy Norpel. He thought Woggy Norpel was a bigger cat than she had been the night before. It seems to me that she is just a little bigger than a bulldog, Lunchbox Louie said. She seems the same size as before to me, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. Maybe you're not used to seeing her in the sunshine. Lunchbox Louie walked away from the little house slowly. He walked away from the little village slowly. He walked toward Thunderbolt City slowly. He was thinking about Wuggy Norple, the orange cat, and how she seemed just a little bigger than a bulldog. When Lunchbox Louie came home from Thunderbolt City that night, he had something under his arm. Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle could see it a long way off. It was something big and white. When Lunchbox Louie got closer, they could see that it was a bulldog. Lunchbox Louie put the bulldog down next to Wuggy Norple. This is Freckleface Chili Bean, Lunchbox Louie said. As you can see, Freckleface Chili Bean is a bulldog, and as you can see, Woggy Norple is just a little bigger than he is. I hope you are satisfied. I think 
freckle-faced chili bean is a little bigger than Wuggy Norple, Bigfoot the chipmunk said. They look about the same size to me, King Waffle said. Wuggy Norple growled at freckle-faced chili bean, and freckle-faced chili bean ran and hid under the sofa. The next morning, when Lunchbox Louie was about to leave for his shop in Thunderbolt City, he said, Woogie Norple has grown during the night. Now anybody can see that she is bigger than Freckleface Chili Bean. In fact, she is almost as big as a six-year-old Razorback Hog. It does seem to me that Woogie Norple is a tiny bit bigger than Freckleface Chili Bean, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. But she's nowhere near as big as a six-year-old Razorback Hog, said King Waffle. Lunchbox Louie walked away from his little house slowly. He was thinking about Wuggy Norple, about how she was almost as big as a six-year-old Razorback hog. During the day, Wuggy Norple made friends with Freckleface Chili Bean, and they chased each other around the big rock while King Waffle sat hitting it with his little hammer. That night, when Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and Wuggy Norple and Freckleface Chili Bean went to the door to wait for Lunchbox Louie to arrive home from Thunderbolt City, they could see that he was carrying something very heavy. He was walking slowly and stopping to rest every few steps. When he got closer, they saw that he was carrying a big hog. This is Paper Cup Mix Master, Lunchbox Louie said. As you can see, Paper Cup Mixmaster is a six-year-old Razorback hog, and as you can see, Wuggy Norple is almost as big as he is. Oh, Wuggy Norple isn't that big, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. Wuggy Norple isn't even half as big, said King Waffle. The next morning, Lunchbox Louie said, Look! Woogie Norple is bigger than Paper Cup Mixmaster! Well, almost as big, Bigfoot the Chipmunk said. Maybe a tiny little bit bigger, King Waffle said. Bigger! Lunchbox Louie shouted. Bigger! 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 She's as big as a young horse! Lunchbox Louie slowly walked away from his little house. During the day, King Waffle helped his mother, Bigfoot the Chipmunk, build a pen for Paper Cup Mixmaster. That night, when Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and Wuggy Norple and Freckleface Chili Bean and Paper Cup Mixmaster went to the door to wait for Lunchbox Louie to come home from Thunderbolt City, they saw that he was carrying something very big and very heavy. This is exploding Pop-Tart, Lunchbox Louie said. As you can see, exploding Pop-Tart is a young horse. And as you can see, Wuggy Norple is every bit as big as exploding Pop-Tart. I hope you are satisfied. Nonsense, said Bigfoot the Chipmunk. A cat can't be as big as a young horse. Wuggy Norple isn't anywhere as near as big as exploding Pop-Tart, King Waffle said. The next morning, Lunchbox Louie said, As I live and breathe, Wuggy Norple has gotten even bigger. Now she's even bigger than exploding Pop-Tart. Not at all, said Bigfoot the Chipmunk. Not at all, said King Waffle. Not at all, shouted Lunchbox Louie. She's as big as an elephant. You'll see. During the day, King Waffle rode exploding Pop-Tart around the backyard, Paper Cup Mixmaster snuffled and grunted in his pen, and Freckleface Chili Bean and Wuggy Norple chased each other around the house. In the evening, when Bigfoot the Chipmunk and King Waffle and Wuggy Norple and Freckleface Chili Bean and Paper Cup Mixmaster and Exploding Pop-Tart went to the door to wait for Lunchbox Louie, they saw that he was carrying something very, very big and gray. Okay. 
This is Laughing Gas Alligator, said Lunchbox Louie, who was all out of breath. As you can see, Laughing Gas Alligator is an Indian elephant. And as you can see, Woogie Norkel, the cat, is just exactly the same size as the elephant. You know, actually, they do seem to be about the same size, said Bigfoot the Chipmunk. They are exactly the same size, said King Waffle. Well, finally, said Lunchbox Louie. The next day was Saturday, and Lunchbox Louie didn't have to go to work. So he took Bigfoot the Chipmunk, and King Waffle, and Wuggy Norpal, and Freckleface Chili Bean, and Paper Cup Mix Master, and Exploding Pop Tart, and Laughing Gas Alligator, and a big basket of lunch, and they all went to Nosewort Pond for a picnic. And that is the end. I hope that you enjoyed the Wogi Norple story. Thanks for listening.